I'm Andy. Yeah! <laughs> and this is my boyfriend, Will. The closet's great, but I broke my nose. <laughs> oh, God. We live in a 1920s Los Angeles home that could use a little love. The so first problem is I don't know how to install a light fixture, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I wanna use my DIY skills to create one-of-a-kind spaces and show you how you can do the same. So this whole thing was like 20 bucks. Okay, so change of plans. If we could open this up, drywall, I think we could do a lot. This is DIY Dream Space. Hello! Hi! Oh. Welcome back, sorry. Hello and welcome to <laughs> DIY Dream Space. If this is the first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, this is a show in which we make over our house one room at a time. Originally, we were trying to finish by Christmas. It didn't happen, but we still had the party and it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> we had our friends over, it was lovely. Um, and things just got really, really crazy. So if you've been following along so far, we did our front entryway, we built a little YouTube studio for us in the house, we did our front office, we did our guest bedroom, and then everything you've not seen just got like crazy jumbly, so many unexpected things happened. Yeah, I mean, we have a pretty big <laughs> setback and I think each one of these little projects after a yeah, break. Yeah, each of the following episodes has something that went wrong. So we're excited to be back. Yeah. And we're excited <laughs> to show you both the good and bad. Yeah, yeah, and so. it's all good. We didn't finish by Christmas, whatever. We're gonna finish it now and we're gonna start today with our master bedroom. Hello and welcome to our bedroom. Uh, so this whole place, kind of like with the rest of the spot, it's, it's a really lovely, place, but we want to make it even more suited to our needs. First things first, we want to paint this entire room that same white that we have throughout the entire house. Get rid of this side table, some of these other uh, just pieces of furniture that are just kind of older. Um, yeah. And also and maybe get some bedding that matches. Yes, and for clarity, we bought the house with all of the furniture. So if anyone's like, where'd you get that old furniture from in the first place? It came with the house yes. and now we're deciding it's time to kind of refresh it all. I would love to do something cool on this wall. Um, perhaps a mural, but I also like the idea of us working together, maybe on a big DIY art piece of some sort we could put up there. That'd be really cool. Another problem I have with this room, also Spencer is sitting right here because it is very cramped. He's not the problem. He's not the problem. Spencer is not the problem. Um, the problem is this weird architectural detail. The stairwell that goes just back there. It has yeah. to be there. So that just ends up kind of collecting junk. I feel like we've never found a great way to use that space to our advantage. Mm -hmm. I would love to do that. I would love to consolidate all of the clothing that we keep out here in this dresser into the closet. I would love to get bedding that matches. Every pillow, I think, has a different pillowcase on it. And yeah, same as the rest of the house. I think we just got painting to do. We're gonna look for some new stuff, DIY as much as we can, and get to work on upgrading this room. Yeah. The way this room was set up before with the bed smack in the middle made the room feel small and left very little room for anything other than the bed. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of our nightstands and push the bed into the corner. And then by consolidating our clothes into the closet, we can get rid of this dresser and move the TV over top of that big box above the stairs. That should leave enough room for a big, full-length mirror and a reading chair in the corner. Of course, we'll add some plants and some DIY projects, and I've decided for my first project, I'm going to make one of my longtime DIY dreams come true and build an exposed brick wall. What I want in this room is a faux brick wall. Yes. However, drywall alone is not strong enough to handle that. When we opened some of the walls downstairs, uh, we found out that some of the walls in this house are lath and plaster, which is how they used to make walls. It's like a bunch of wood slats that they push plaster through. If this is drywall, we can take out all the drywall, re-put re it in, what is it called? Cement backer board. <laughs> 
If this is drywall, we'll take out all the drywall, put in cement backer board, and then put all of our little uh, brick, how, how would brick you call veneer. it? Brick veneer. Brick veneer. Okay, so thin pieces of brick, yeah. for those who don't know. If it is drywall, then we'll replace it with cement backer board and then take our brick veneer and stick it to that because that will be sturdy enough to handle the weight of all of the brick veneer, which it is very, very heavy. And we probably yeah. should have done this before we bought the brick, but we didn't. So we're yeah. going to do it right now. So, uh, so that's it. I think we just need to cut into this. I need to see with my own eyes what's happening in this wall so I know how to proceed. I will hold uh, Andy's crowbar. Great. Okay, so let's... Oh, that, I feel like this is drywall. I'm gonna stick my hand on this wall. Oh, yeah, there's a stud. Okay, so... It's drywall. She drywall. All right. All right, cool. So... Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so... This means more work, but much more exciting work. I'm so, less excited, but I'm that's stoked. okay. It will be worth it in the end. I know yeah. that. Now we have to remove all of the drywall on this wall and then we'll get started. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's afternoon. Yeah. So this is a big one, yeah. but it'll be great. It'll this be. wall is very much going to be the star of this room. Yeah. And so that's what I'm excited about. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to pop off this trim. We're going to take out the drywall and then we'll get started. go from there. Yeah. Bang, bang. Let's, um, High five, please. Ding. Great. <laughs> cool. Let's fucking go! from my first thing <laughs> to that. <laughs> Unfortunately, we stopped filming here for a bit because as soon as we opened that wall, we could tell that the studs had some serious termite damage and it was pretty bad. It was like if you touched a stud, it was like crumbling away yeah. in a hollow. It was really not good. And that's a little bit outside of our area of expertise. Yeah, we've had the place fumigated uh, only recently, so there wasn't anything live in there, which is good. Uh, but yeah, it was important that before yeah. we did all this work on that wall, that it was a structurally sound wall. We don't want a wall to fall on us, especially if we're sleeping or something yeah. like that. And adding all this weight to it with brick. So anyway, we had a professional come in, replace all the studs. They put up the cement backer board for us. So the wall is good to go. It's solid. It's not going to fall down. Yeah. And now we can start working on the brick. Okay. So we are going to start the brick wall today and it's fine. <laughs> I feel like we both are kind of at a point where <laughs> we're ready to be done with the whole thing. It's just been a lot of work. And now that the downstairs is pretty much done, it's very easy to just like hang out down there and feel like the house is done and just ignore upstairs completely. So, uh, so we took off today's Wednesday and we were planning to start this on Monday but we ended up just taking off Monday and Tuesday because I think we're both going a little bit crazy <laughs> from all the work so anyway we're starting today I am excited to get started but I'm just feeling really kind of over it at this point over the whole thing but that's okay so anyway here we are we're gonna do it it's gonna be great I'm mixing thin set right now we already cut some of the bricks into half 
pieces because, you know, bricks go like this. One, two, well, they don't have to, have to go, but the way we're doing it is like subway style, which means that this brick is in the middle as opposed to being like this, if that makes sense. So we need half pieces to start on the edge. So we're ready to go. <laughs> I'm really, <laughs> I just feel like I'm so over it, but I'm trying to be positive and make it a good day. So first things first, I'm just gonna mix this thin set to a thick paste and then we're gonna get started. This is the little system <laughs> we have set up right now to get stuff up and downstairs. So I'm gonna send Will some more bricks to cut. I'm just going to... How long do you think it took us to do all the bricks and all the grout? Oh, I have no idea. All I know is that <laughs> like we put like the Lord of the Rings movies on yeah. Netflix while we were doing it and we plowed through like two of them and I didn't even, I, I yeah. feel like it just, it yeah. just happened. And those are long movies. Like that's like- Well, and I watched a lot of Bob's Burgers while I was working in there. So many, many, many hours. Yeah, we definitely found a groove towards the end where we'd yeah. be pretty quick and found a system that worked, especially with like Patrick and Spencer, but it was uh, not something I really want to do again uh, <laughs> yeah, I, for a I while. I, I would do it again, but not for a very long time because it was just super time consuming. But now that this part is done, the room looks incredible. So We're getting there, it was totally sure. worth it and way better looking than any sort of fake brick that we could find. What's been happening? The wall is a big pain in the ass. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick today also. The wall has been taking so long and it's gonna be worth it and it's fine, but I also feel like because it's been taking so long, I have just been really negative recently about the whole thing and about the room. So I just think today I wanna do a lot of fun DIYs. I wanna cram in as much in a day as I possibly can and just have a positive, productive DIY day. So, uh, my original plan, basically what happened just now is I just came in here and saw this cutting board and I think I might use it for a DIY and we'll just get a new cutting board, which I know is a little bit ridiculous. Here, if you follow me to the garage, mm -hmm. I will show you what is happening. Ignore the mess. Ignore it, everybody. Yeah. Someone commented on the tidy recently and was like, what a waste. I saw your recent videos and now it's dirty. And I was like, excuse me, we're renovating an entire house. Sorry that it's a little bit messy. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. Wow, I really might use that cutting board. Okay, so we have the spare wood in here. And this used to be shelves and I saved them because they're like totally fine stained pieces of wood. I'm gonna use two of them to make a shelf in the bedroom above our bed, which leaves us two more for DIYing. And I was gonna use one of them right now to make like a little tray to put our remotes and stuff on upstairs. But now that I have this cutting board in my head, it's kind of what I wanna use, but I just bought this cutting board because we needed a new one. Well, we can always get another. We can always board. get another cutting board. Okay, and then I also have this belt from Target. I got a 4XL because it'll give me the most usable material. And I think I'm just gonna cut it. 
And I wanna make like little handles. Oh, look how cute that is. Make little handles on the end, either like that or maybe like this. I'm still gonna use this wood later for shelves and maybe other things. And what better place to DIY than in my new sweet spot. Wow. I'm probably gonna sit on the floor though because I don't wanna get anything messy. Okay, hello, I changed. I put sweatpants on because I wanted to be comfy to me. So what I'm doing right now is I want to transfer a design onto this cutting board and I'm not really down for like monogramming and like quotes and stuff. Just not really my personal style. I have these flowers that I made for my bullet journal last January. And I drew these flowers for that and I still have them. So I figured I might as well use them. So whatever design you wanna use, if it's text, a quote, a photo, whatever, I'm just gonna print it on normal paper, but I'm gonna print it reverse of the way I want it to be on the wood. All right, so I cut this out and I'm going to position it where I think it should go, except remember this is reversed. So it's gonna be like so. And the only other thing you'll need for this is polycrylic. I'm gonna use the polycrylic. I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna dip this in the polycrylic. <laughs> I'm gonna paint the area that I want to apply this. Paint, paint, paint. And then I'm gonna stick this down and make sure it's like flat. We get all the air bubbles out. We're gonna wait for it to dry and then we're gonna come back. Okay, so, all right, it's been about 30 minutes and it feels dry to the touch. So I'm gonna use a washcloth and I'm going to put the water on the rag. All right, and then I'm just gonna gently start rubbing the paper. And the hope is that the paper will rub off, but the ink will stay on the board. It did work. It came out a lot lighter than I thought it was going to, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so I Changed my mind, actually. I decided that I don't love how light it is. I would like for it to be a little darker. So I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna use this paint. This is the leftover paint from both the front bathroom and the dresser that we made in the guest room. And I'm gonna use it to go over all of these lines. And then I will put a coat of poly on top. So in that way, I think the paper transfer method is good if you want, if you're someone who needs a little help like stenciling, if you're not someone who can just look at a photo and draw it on a thing, this is a really good way to transfer it well enough that you could see it and then outline it. Or if you like the light, go for it. It's not the worst, but I just figure it won't take me that long to go over it with paint and then it'll look hand painted which I think is cool. And then I'll do poly on top. So that's the plan. That's it. Okay, so the, I did paint over the design on the tray 
and I'm glad I did. It looks great. It is currently drying outside because I put a top coat of polyurethane on it. So that's that. We'll get back to that later. It is a little bit later than I was hoping and I've only done one DIY, so I'm gonna pick it up a little bit. And what I wanna do right now is throw pillows. So these are throw pillow inserts from Amazon. They were very inexpensive. And then I also got two plain white, um, like velvety cases from Amazon. And I have some yarn, like relatively chunky yarn. And although you could use whatever you want. My inspiration is this pillow from Urban Outfitters. I'm gonna try and do kind of the same thing, but just with the reverse color palette. So the pillow is white and the braids are gonna be yellow. Hi, Toby. It looks relatively simple. I think I just need to braid it and then I can either glue or sew it down to the pillowcase. Dude, what? look at this. Oh, that looks fucking great. <laughs> oh my God. Right? That's that a good rad. ass pillow. Yeah, dude, it looks really good. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> wow, I was not excited about the pillows, but now I'm really excited about the pillows. It looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah. Look at this. Nice, dude, it looks great. Yes! Okay, so this one I did, I glued the pom-poms, but I also, it's okay. Make sure, yeah, all right, good. <laughs> this one, I glued the pom-poms and the braid, but then I also, because of the pom-poms, it's not like a, you know, solid surface to glue down. It's all these little bits. I was a little nervous that they were gonna fall off, so I did take a needle and thread and just like tie a knot in each of these, so these are not gonna go anywhere. <sighs> so we made two pillows. So now, should I open my package that just came? I kinda sure. wanna show you because I think you're gonna be... Giant yarn. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, so this is giant yarn and I'm gonna make a blanket. Yes, I've done it. <sighs> cool. <laughs> so here's the blanket. It's a little bit like narrow and long because I couldn't fit like I was watching videos and people were fitting like 16 or 20 loops on their arms. I don't know if I have short arms or <laughs> what, but I could only fit 12. So it's thin and long, but it's also kind of nice. It's like a perfect one person blanket. I like it. Cool. 
I feel really good about this and about this. And what else did we do today? Oh, the tray. I didn't get to the handles, but I can do that tomorrow. So tomorrow <sighs> we'll finish the wall, which will be fine. And we'll put the handles on that tray and we'll do whatever else we need to do. <sighs> but my throat is starting to hurt again. So I'm gonna drink some tea and go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know if you can see on the camera, I did not finish off the sides or the top. Um, and the reason for doing so is my plan from the beginning has been to make this look like an exposed brick wall, meaning I wanted it to look like this <clears throat> was behind a wall and then we like picked it out to expose the brick, which is what an exposed brick wall is. And so I wanted to create a like plaster border around the edge. I thought that I could just take plaster and just like slap it on and do it. Um, first thing is that plaster is way more of an art than I gave it credit for. It's a lot about like perfect timing and perfect consistency. And as someone who's never done plaster before, I just don't think it's a good idea for me to jump into it on this wall. So, and then I was like, maybe we could do like a wood trim and just kind of hide the edges. But the conclusion we've come to is we're gonna use mortar like plaster I'm just gonna do what I was planning to do with the plaster, but with the mortar and try to create like a natural looking border around the whole wall. I'm gonna start in this corner because I know that the bed is gonna be pushed into this corner anyway. So if I like need a little bit of time to figure out the best way to do it, this is the place that will not be seen. So that's fine. Today's the day folks. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Hello. All right, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish probably today. Ugh. It always feels like, I don't know, it always feels so hard. <laughs> but then the end is really exciting. So if you remember these pieces of wood from the garage, we are now gonna make some shelves on the wall and that's it. That's what we're gonna do. I'm so excited. All right. All right, here we are. Now's the time. Everybody's favorite moment. Everybody's favorite time. We're all gonna close our eyes. We're all gonna think about the room before. We did it. It feels so good. Every single time, it's just like another one done. Oh, so much more to go, but it's okay. <laughs> well, and at least we have a place, like our home base is figured out. That was the big thing is now we have a place to like return to. When we yeah. were working on this, um, on the master bedroom, we had to stay in the guest bedroom for a bit and it yeah. was just, this is tighter quarters. So it's yeah. nice that we've opened everything up and now it's a real place of rest. I hope you guys like it as much as we do. Uh, this one was definitely a labor of love, but I'm really, really happy with it. And 
a pretty big difference before and after. Oh yeah. I feel like sometimes the before and after is just like, you know, change of paint and whatever, but I think moving the bed was the right choice. Yeah. I think getting rid of our dresser and putting our clothes in the closet was the right choice. I think moving the TV was the right choice. So I just feel really good. I yeah. hope you guys love it. If you haven't seen any of the last episodes, go catch yourself Check up. Check it out, what are you doing? Yeah, what the heck are you doing We've got here? so many other episodes for you. <laughs> and now the new schedule is these will be posted every Saturday until we're done. So we will see you next Saturday. I love you guys so much. Uh, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> make sure to subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every time a new video comes. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. I was kissing you with my eyes open, but you said you said keep them closed and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my. Friends on the